If you love being upside down in the air, this is a fun one for you to try. across all apparatuses, aerial hoop, hammock, silks, and folds. So if you practice those apparatuses, especially at home, this is a great channel for you to have resources to train. Yes. And if you have an aerial bestie, invite them to join as well because, you know, we practice together, we work with each other's spotting buddies, and we learn together, train together. So yeah, invite them to join. Yes. Okay, so before we start, let's do a quick safety check. Of course, we need to be safe at all times so we can practice for a long time. So let's make sure that with your equipment, make sure everything is okay, and then make sure that you have rash mat. Don't practice without a crash mat under any circumstances. You never know what will happen. Um, so make sure you have that. Make sure that you warm up well and that you cool down well before and after practicing aerial. Um, if you're looking for different warm-up ideas, we have a playlist of different warm-ups that you can find right up here. So go check that out. If you haven't warmed up as yet, go do that first and then come back to this video. Um, make sure that you're wearing the right clothes, either you know as little clothes as possible, sport clothes, pole clothes. If you're wearing sticky clothes, that can also help. And then of course, make sure that you have your spotting buddy. Make sure you have someone to practice with. Um, so that they can be your GPS in the air, walk you through each move, and you know, be there if something happens to help you out, cheer you on, or call someone. Yes. And as always, you cannot find the music synced up to this video because this video is intended to give you a walkthrough and a breakdown of how you do this routine. However, we do release a short the day before this video premieres, and in this short, you can see it's synced up to the music. You can find a link to that short right up there. And if you want to see bigger, then you can also come back to the channel on Fridays where we release a YouTube video that is synced up to the music so that you can see both of us doing it and you can see how our bodies work differently and our styles are different. We will leave you a link to the song that we use on the timing with which we get started down in the description below. And as always, just note that we also release these routines on our Instagram our personal Instagram account so if you want to see it there you don't want to wait until Friday then you can just jump to our Instagram account and see it there links to our Instagram accounts are down in the description below as well yeah okay I think we've covered everything let's get started hi guys Taylor is here today to help us break down this routine and we did a different start which does requires some core engagement so you start with your right hand in forearm grip, and your left hand holds high on the pole then you will be pivoting off of your right leg so that is the leg you'll keep on the floor it's the same side as the arm that is in forearm grip you will bring that left uh, leg 
forward so you will spin forward and here when you are spinning you need to one make sure that your leg is as your leg that is pivoting off the floor is as close or an underneath the rigging point as possible and you also need to make sure that you engage your core as you are spinning to keep your body upright so taylor can go ahead and add spin so she will show us how to do it okay yes you see how she engages her core to keep her body upright then you release your leg and just spin here for a bit before you come to the pole to do your first climb after you have done your first climb so taylor can go ahead and do her first climb you do a second climb so it's two fireman climbs and after this second climb what you need to do is you need to adjust your legs so your right leg comes on top and your left leg goes behind the pole. Once your left leg is hooked behind the pole at the foot, you ask your arm, so you bring it down lower. So yes, like that. And you extend backwards and release that right hand and go hold under your bum with your thumbs up. So you can hold this. Pole. Then once you hold this for a bit, you extend that lower leg so you can go into a, something like a half split. So you can extend as much as possible. And this is the second pose. Okay, so we're going to show you how to do the breakdown, how to do the transition to straddle from this, uh, from the floor first so that you can get the right movements. So you're holding close to the pole, uh, so you bring your arms back to the pole and you bring the pole to under your arm, armpit, and bring your leg and swing it to the side so you can get ready for this straddle position in the air. Okay. Okay, so Taylor is going to show us how to do the transition from this pose. So go ahead, Taylor. Put it down, around, straddle, hook your outside leg. Here, you should extend that back, that free leg and pull your body up, your upper body up, and hold the pole with your thumbs up under your body. And when you come down, you bend that outside leg to, yes, and you release your hand and hold again around your head, thumbs up. You bend your legs and you hold this pose for a bit. This transition will help you to add spin. So the next pose, from the same position, you slide your leg down. You can go to your calf or you can go to your ankle, depending on how easy it is for you to slide. You release that bottom leg and you point it down, bending at the knee. Very good. Then you put your leg back to your knee and swing your leg forward and then hook it on the pole and you bring your body around and release your arms and you should be held steady steady in this pose here from this is the end of the routine so just hold on back to the pole push up hold high and release your legs and slowly unmount the pole yeah and that is the breakdown for the routine thank you Taylor I'm sure you will have it really to a T. Yep, for sure. I, I wish that at 
you know, when we first started, there were a lot of things that I thought, oh, okay, it didn't really matter, especially with your hand positioning and stuff like that. But I think that those little tweaks really help to keep the spin going. So definitely follow those things. Yes, and guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like before you leave and let us know if you need anything else to support our videos that we create so that we continue to make content that you can use to train at home. Yes, and if you're not quite there with your invert as yet but still want to make some fun shapes upside down, check out the routine that we're leaving on the screen. Uh, we work on our layback in this routine, so um, you still get to be inverted and make some cool shapes, but at the same time, you don't need to do a straddle invert as yet. So check that out, we'll leave it somewhere around here. Okay, until next time.